what is going on guys? It's your boy Sesso here with a video here today, bringing guys the best new free fonts of 2019, this being the third and final video for the year, and I think from this forward on, I guess next year and stuff like that, you'll always kind of get three videos a year when it comes to fonts, new ones to get you guys updated, all that good stuff, and I'd also like to know in the comment section below what fonts you've been using for the past few weeks, few months, or whatnot, so people can also go in the comment section below and download some of those that you guys might like as well, and uh, yeah, as always in the video, uh, the description down below is all the fonts you guys see, as well as a uh, link that actually has all the fonts in one little bundle, so you guys can enjoy that, and uh, yeah, I just appreciate you guys so very much and the whole series uh, support, and just hope you guys enjoy, and yes, I am sick, I apologize, you got to deal with my voice, but uh, yeah, much love, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright homie, so first up is a font called Blacker, it's a super nice clean sans serif font, just one of my fonts that kind of reminds me of like the Gotham family font that I really like so much, but I think I, I, I want to switch it up a little bit every now and again, so when it comes to like the characters like the K's and the R's, a nice little seamless, almost like a retro modern look, and I can see it working for a lot of headers and like subtext, so if you guys want a nice clean font, this is definitely one to choose from. Alright guys, so next up is a font called Ammonite, it's a super nice clean bolded font, it's really cool, has like almost its own very original characteristic to it, I say that, but then I think about it and there's a font that looks just like this, or not just like it, but it has like a little bit of a characters to it. I don't know if you guys can remind me of what it is, but it's like an older font. I can't quite get it now that I'm thinking of it. Dang it. Um, regardless, the characters themselves are really, really fun and cool. Uh, as you can see, the M's themselves has this really kind of weird kind of vibe to them. I think it makes the entire font in, like on its own. Like I think it's really, really dope. Um, it has no capital letters. However, I think it's really still really dope and useful. Of course, it's also free for personal and commercial use. So I hope you guys enjoy it and download it. Alright guys, so next up is a font called Coco Mat. Now for me personally, I can see this being used in like the thumbnail designers community as it is a nice, of course, clean, bolded font that can be standalone on its own, but it also be used in conjunction, as I use that word, I have no idea, uh, uh, together with like a clean sort of like, you know, clean, super clean font, right, within this font itself, and then either like a super cartoony font within this font, Coco Mat itself as well, but also not feel out of place. I think it's a really strong kind of placement for thumbnails, and I'm always looking for new, uh, I guess, fonts for thumbnails, so if you guys are too, this is definitely one to pick up. All right, guys, now we have a font called Apex MK3. Now this font in the bottom left corner where it says best new fonts of 2019, the numbers in this font are actually from that, or 2019, those numbers are from this font. I think it's super, super clean. The actual letters themselves are also super, super clean. I can just see the way the artist actually writes it out, Apex underscore MK3. It of course, has like a cool, like a hacker or sort of like, uh, like code-esque vibe to it, like computer code. Um, I can see it being used a lot for, I would say, like gaming headers, like with Modern Warfare coming out, has that kind of vibe to it, as well as like Apex Legends being revived a little bit. I can see people using it for that. It's really all around super clean font. I can just see you guys really enjoying it, and hopefully you guys download it. All right, so next up is a font, I believe is how you say this, it's called Heinrich. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm always in search for really, really nice, cool vertical height fonts. You guys hear me say it every now and again. What I mean by vertical height fonts is basically those long words that really can't fit in the canvas, or you have to be too small for it to fit, where those really nice clean fonts you guys might have. These these fonts for like vertical height fonts just kind of like has like a cool like stretched like vertical tall wise vibe to it where it's not like super long going like horizontal where you can't really fit the entire word when it comes to like those thumbnails when your client's just like bro I need it bigger you just can't be bigger clients sometimes just gonna understand it can't be bigger um just saying this is one of those clean fonts you guys are definitely gonna enjoy it I, just, I, I highly advise you guys to have multiple of these in your arsenal this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite ones coming up and uh, yeah enjoy it all right, guys. So the last font for today's video, I was so I was so close to not putting it in the video because I wanted to keep it for myself and just be so quiet about it. But I must. I think I'm still gonna be using it in the hundred thieves stuff. There's no way. I like. I have to. Okay, so the next font is called Tundra. It's a very cool, weird, bolded font where I, it has like almost like a Tokyo with like Japanese characters vibes into it, where almost like each letter, you can see each letter, right? You can see it's a T, and a U, an N, and a D, an R, and A, but also can feel like they're their own individual characters, which I think is a super, super cool, like very dope style to it, right? Now, I do have free for personal and commercial use. I'm not entirely sure. And in any case, guys, when it comes to any font you guys want to use for a commercial use, please, of course, address the actual artist and ask and always make sure because regardless some sites always uh can excuse me can get them wrong um but yeah i think i should totally download this and i please for the love of please do not kill the font what i mean by that is do not overuse it community let's be secretive together and just use it just like oof, it's gonna it's totally gonna die 
Um, regardless, I think I should also totally go to his actual Behance page where he has to download this font uh, in its little singularity kind of link, right? And just leave some love. Be like, yo, Senso sent me or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. Um, it's a super clean font, and I hope you guys do enjoy today's video here today. As always, guys, Senso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later and much love. Do not forget, comment all your fonts you guys like and use right now in the description, uh, not the description, in the comment section down below. And uh, uh, if you guys see ones you guys like, just just kind of upload it right so that's all so we all, so we all know what we need to download um talk to you guys later peace love you